Hello, hello, you guys. It's Lauren. Welcome back to my channel for the love of. If you're joining me for the first time, I want to say welcome and thanks for taking the time to click on yet another vendor wax unboxing slash first impressions. If you're a returning viewer or subscriber, welcome on back. You guys, yes, we are doing yet another, yet another vendor wax unboxing. Today we're going to be talking about the bathing garden. I just got this order in yesterday. This is going to be my I believe my third, maybe fourth bathing garden order. Um, she was the first vendor that I ever ordered from. Um, for those of you that are just joining and watching my channel, this was kind of what kicked it all off with actual vendor wax for me. And um, I'll always appreciate how beautiful and thoughtful and just pretty all of her pieces are. So I had to place another order with her and I'm gonna share it with you guys today. This is a pre-recorded video, so you guys may have seen some of these trickling up on Instagram before I even posted this video. That's because um, as you guys are watching this, I am out of town right now, but I wanted to have a video up and out to you guys. So what we're gonna do is uh, I'm gonna haul them for you. I have smelt some of them. I smelt them all off camera. I'll go over them scent by scent, give you my first impressions, and uh, we'll take it from there. Before I dive into today's video, I do want to say I hope you guys are all doing well. Can't believe we're already getting into fall season. As you can see, I did grab some little fall fragrances here too. So I hope you guys are enjoying the rest of your summer. It's going by really quick. We're already kicking off into fall. Now you guys, without further ado, let's just get into today's haul. And I'm actually going to kick it off with body care. Um, I actually was recommended to try, let me see if I can zoom in on this, to try the body care um, from Bathing Garden by one of my subscribers. If you're watching this, you know who you are. So I did pull the trigger and I got the Sugared Vanilla Waffle Cone Sugar Scrub. I've heard her stuff is wonderful. The price point on this large jar right here was $9.95, so actually better than Bath & Body Works pricing. So I did finally pull the trigger and get some body care. She also included a sample. So the sample is Guava Berry Gelato. I did smell this off camera. Really pretty, smooth and fruity. Um, just a very fresh, not overly sweet fruit fragrance. So if you're someone who likes like those fruity body care items, definitely check this one out. I'm not a huge fruity body care person, but this one's um, smooth enough and not overly sweet enough to where I find it really pretty and refreshing. And it does smell like kind of a gelato, fruity type ice cream. So if you like fruit, check out the Guava Berry Gelato. And then the one that I obviously purchased, the Sugared Vanilla Waffle Cone. Look at how cute this is. Again, her attention to detail, you have this darling little ice cream cone kind of inlet right on there. I don't know if that's like a sugar scrub or just a little decoration. Um, the fragrance on this, and I wanted... I'm smelling it off camera here. So I was hoping for something maybe a little more waffle coney. Um, it doesn't smell bad by any means, but it is light. So if you're looking for something that's a lighter fragrance, go with this. To me, it's very reminiscent of Bath & Body Works Warm Vanilla Sugar. Um, smells a little bit different. Maybe there's a, a tinge of waffle cone action going on. But again, we use body care for the effects of it, right? Not for the fragrance. So, I mean, it has coconut oil. It has all kinds of good stuff in there. So I can't wait to try this out. But if you're looking for something with a super strong scent, um, the sugared vanilla waffle cone might not be one you would want to try because this does seem to be a little bit lighter. So I can't wait to try this one out. Going right along, we're going to kick it off with clamshells, you guys. And ooh, this one is good. So... This might be one of my favorites um, of the clamshells I've got in this order. This one's called Moonbeams. I did post on Instagram um, a photo of this one. Look at the attention to detail. There's like a little inlet in there. Um, the time she actually takes making these is just kind of very uh, impressive. So this one reminds me, those of my lavender lovers out there, um, this shouldn't surprise you that I like this one. To me, this is very um, Bath & Body Works Moonlit Path. Esque. Uh, maybe not as powdery, but this one would be like um, a really good probably bedroom fragrance. It's it's not super light. Um, I am going to let this one cure a little bit longer just because I think it might be even stronger if I let it cure and set. Um, but even on cold, it seems to have a pretty, um, I'd say a medium type fragrance, but I think if I let it set, it might be a little bit stronger when I actually chunk it up and uh, melt it. If you're looking for like a cozy, very feminine light um 
lavender, just a really pretty feminine lavender bedroom, bathroom, powder room type scent. Definitely check out Moonbeams. All right, and next up we have Salted Caramel Popcorn. Look at how cute this one is. All the darling little inlets, cute little sprinkles. I got this one, you guys, to pair with um, Bath & Body Works Summer Boardwalk. I wanted something that would kind of be like, I don't know, caramely, popcorny kind of smell. If you like that popcorny caramel type fragrance, definitely check this one out. It's pretty strong even on cold. Um, even just opening, just me opening this up right now. I wish you guys could smell it. Through the video, I'm getting just this really caramelized buttery popcorn fragrance. Um, it's It doesn't have the apple note in it like Summer Boardwalk does. So don't expect it to be just like that. But if you're looking for like a good melt to kind of pair with Summer Boardwalk, um, or if you just like salted popcorny type scents, definitely check this one out. And that is the Salted Caramel Popcorn. Next up, this one I'm actually was the most excited for. Um, God, this one's cute. Hot Apple Pie. I mean, come on, you guys. She has a cute little pie inlet right in there. Cute little um, golden or uh, silver and blue type flakes. What this smells like to me, first of all, I got this with the intent of melting it in the fall. Um, that's when I burn and melt apple fragrances. This smells like a um, McDonald's apple pie. You know, like they're warm kind of hot pies. That's what this smells like. Um, it's not the strongest on cold, at least right now, but what I am getting of it, um, it smells really good, you guys. So this is, again, another one of those where I'm going to just have to bite the bullet and let it set and cure because the scent itself is really, really pretty. Um, I don't want to chunk it up too soon and just have it not really throwing for me, um, but the scent itself, you get that really warm kind of poached baked apple filling with a little bit of pie crust. I can't wait to try this one out. It's very authentic. It doesn't smell artificial. Um, if you like Bath & Body Works warm apple pie, I really think you'll like this one. Um, I will obviously, like I said, do Instagram follow-ups, but I am going to let this one cure, but you guys will see me testing this one out um, as we get closer to fall. So that was the hot apple pie. And last but certainly not least, I have the sugared vanilla waffle cone. You guys saw I got this fragrance earlier in the uh, sugar scrub. Matches with the cute little ice cream cone inlet. Sparkles, sprinkles, very, very ice cream-esque. Um, same as the body care, just like I was saying with the sugar scrub. The scent is kind of light. I will say the fragrance I'm getting out of the clamshell is a little bit stronger than what I was getting out of the body scrub. So that's super promising. I do get a little more of that kind of waffle coney uh, vanilla type fragrance coming through. This is another one of those where it's so light, um, just like how Bath & Body Works Warm Vanilla Sugar is a very light scent uh, in and of itself. This one is just that light on cold, so I am going to wind up letting this one cure. Um, I may try it as we get closer and closer to fall. I feel like this would be a good blending scent. You could probably blend this with most anything. You could blend this with pumpkin scents. You could even blend this with apple type fragrances. Um, but again, if you're looking for something super strong, I have a feeling this one might not be the strongest even after it cures. Um, but like I said, I'll obviously do Instagram follow-ups and that was the sugared vanilla waffle cone. And moving on to the individual wax melts, um, we have this cute little teeny tiny bundt cake right here. And you guys, I have to mention the price point on these is, is not too, too bad. It's a great way to kind of try some of the fragrances. I think these run like $2 or $2.75 a piece. Um, I get actually two uses out of these. I'll cut this in half and put it in my little um, tea light powered wax warmer. Um, so not bad price points on these, by the way. I don't know if I mentioned that. The clamshells also retail for, I think, $3.95 a piece. So again, not expensive at all. Really good price points from the bathing garden. I just wanted to throw that in there. Let me see. Yes. $2.75 and $3.95. So just had to pop that in there. All right, so this is the Blueberry Lavender Sugar Cake. To me, this is a very bright, um, 
lavender with a blueberry type fragrance. If you guys like Yankee Candles Lemon Lavender, I know that sounds kind of weird um, because this is blueberry lavender, but if you like kind of that clash between like the zestiness of like um, a fruity type fragrance with lavender, then I think you'll like this. Um, this one is just not for me. Um, I don't care for those type of fragrances. I was thinking this might be a little more gourmand, um, but it's definitely got that zesty clash that you get in like kind of traditional lemon lavender, fruit lavender type fragrances. Um, if you're looking for a bakery gourmand type scent, you might want to skip this one. This would probably be really pretty in the spring as it's a really refreshing fragrance. Um, I will wind up trying it, um, but this one's just not my cup of tea. Very, very cute though. So that was the uh, Blueberry Lavender Sugar Cake. Next up, look at how cute these are. I actually got a two pack of these. I think these may have been... These might have been $3.95 also because you get two of them. Uh, this was the sugar cream pie. You get a two-piece set. And you guys, this one's really good. Um, it's light, okay? So again, I'm going to have to let this cure. But the fragrance I'm getting from this is um, it's really yummy. Um, you kind of get like a little bit of like, just like the name says, sugared cream pie. You get a little bit of that kind of bakery crust action with just like almost like a whipped heavy creaminess. Really pretty. I think this would be another good of um, one of those layering type scents. You could melt this alongside something apple. You could melt this alongside something fruity, um, a coffee type fragrance, any other gourmand scent, just because it's kind of got that, I don't know, bakery base with vanilla would pair well with most anything, or you could melt it by itself. Um, on cold, it is light, uh, so I will wind up letting this one cure probably for the next month or so before I test it out. But if you're looking for a good standard bakery scent, definitely check out the uh, sugar cream pie. All right, you guys, and moving on to my little fall pumpkins. I wish I would have grabbed more of these. So this one, she actually um, gave me as a sampler and I'm really glad she did. Um, the name is called Poisoned Apothecary. I probably would have skipped on this one just cause the name, I don't know, I guess I would have assumed it was like a cologne type fragrance. I have no idea what the notes are in this one, but this is like the epitome of fall. It smells like, um, it's not a bakery scent, but it smells like a fall harvest, maybe like hay, um, a little bit of like a rustic vibe. Really, really pretty. Um, very impressive, very warm type fragrance. This one's pretty strong right off the bat. I may wind up chunking this one up and testing it out just because it smells really, really good. If you're looking for that kind of classic, cozy, um, hearth and home type fall fragrance, definitely check out the Poisoned Apothecary. I don't know if this is like a little Halloween collection preview because I don't think I saw this scent available when I placed my most recent order. I could be wrong. Um, but I'm really excited to try this one out. And that's the Poisoned Apothecary. And last but certainly not least, we have the Salted Vanilla Pumpkin. Again, cute little golden pumpkin. Um, this one on cold is again, kind of light. What I'm seeing with Bathing Garden is maybe some of the vanilla based scents are kind of light off the bat. Um, I don't get too, too much saltiness. Um, I really I'm kind of just picking up like a light vanilla scent with maybe a hint of pumpkin. It's not super strong. So again, this is going to have to be one of those ones that I let cure. Um, the fragrance I'm getting, yeah, I, I just smelled it again. Maybe a bit of a smooth pumpkin puree with vanilla. I'm not getting overly salty type action or anything like that. Um, what I am getting is pretty, uh, very fall-esque but I feel like even after this one cures, it seems like it might be a bit of a lighter scent. So this one would probably be one of those ones you would have in a smaller room. Pretty scent. I will definitely have to let this one cure though. And that is the Salted Vanilla Pumpkin. Okay, you guys, so that actually is it for me today. That wraps up my bathing garden, my most recent bathing garden haul. I do wanna mention, I didn't mention this earlier, my total was only $27.55, so with tax and shipping, $35, not bad at all. And she did include a couple little samples, which is really nice. Um, like I said, a lot of these are going to have to cure. So you guys will see these making an appearance probably in the next month or so on Instagram um, when I do test some of the fragrances out. If you guys have used any of these fragrances or if you guys have used Bathing Garden, Leave it in the comments below. Let me know which ones are your favorites or let me know which ones you guys are using right now. 
Before I sign off, I do also want to let you know I'm on Instagram. So if you're on there, come find me at life, L-I-F-E underscore with W-I-T-H underscore letter L. I use my Instagram to post a lot of upcoming videos, purchases, hauls, vendor wax. If you are way into vendor wax, I use my Instagram post a lot of uh, vendor wax follow-ups. Um, I rate the throws. I kind of tell you a little bit about the scent. It's just easier to do um, wax follow-ups on Instagram. So if you're into it, come find me on Instagram. And you guys, that's it for me today. As always, I hope you're having an awesome day, an awesome evening, weekend, whatever time it is you're watching this video. And until next time, I'll see you later.